What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day as always. Today's video, we're going over the top interior mods on your Jeep JK. So these are mods that I've already done to my Jeep. Mods that I've tested and I'm sure that they work and I feel comfortable recommending to all of you guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So to start off our list, number one is the Carboter um, digital dash setup. This thing's awesome. As you guys can see, if you have any engine codes, those will pop down onto the screen as a notification when you turn your Jeep on. And there's just a ton of different settings you guys can go through. You see your fuel. Um, it actually shows you the miles per gallon you're getting, distance to empty. Uh, it also shows you how much average mile per gallon you're getting. Just all around an awesome setup for your Jeep. Tons of different modes, different settings you guys have, different things you guys can monitor, such as how long you've had your oil filter in, uh, your gear oil, all that stuff. I'm not going to go too in-depth about this. I'll link a video on it down in the description. Next on the list is these Braum racing seats, or honestly, any kind of upgraded off-roading racing seat setup. So you guys always see me sitting in these when I film the videos in the car. But the stock seats in your JK, JKU, if they're anything like mine were, mine was the most base model version you could get. The stock seats suck, so I went ahead and upgraded it with some of the Braum seats. I'll put some photos of those in, and I will link all these products down in the description so you guys can check them out for yourselves. And if there are discount codes available, I'll also put those with the link so you guys can save a few dollars. Next on the list is probably one of the easiest to install, and honestly one of my favorite mods I've done to my Jeep, but it's the Hike It Throttle Controller. So these face plates are interchangeable with different colors, tons of different settings, race mode, sport mode. I leave mine in economy a lot. Just to get a little bit better fuel mileage with these uh, 40s. This does not add power to your Jeep, but it does make the throttle response much, much better. It's almost instantaneous now. Super simple to install, and I will be linking all these products down in the description, like I said, and any discount codes that are available. Next on the list is an updated um, head unit. Now, I can't hook it up to CarPlay right now since I am recording on my phone. It just wouldn't work out. But this radio has Apple CarPlay, you can put disc in, it's got Android um, setup, so if you have an Android phone, you can play it on there. Bluetooth, um, it's got hands-free. You can actually hook up a backup camera, which I haven't hooked up yet, but I do plan on putting the camera up in the front of the Jeep for off-roading so I can see what's in front of the wheels and tires at all times. But this radio is about $300, super simple to install. JK Gear and Gadgets actually did an amazing video on this on how to install it and everything you need. So I will link his video down in the description so you guys can check it out. Next on the list, and if you're big in off-roading, it's kind of a must-have. It's just a clean spot to have your switches. So as you guys can see, if I was sitting here driving and say I'm off-roading, I need to turn the compressor and lockers on. Super simple to do, which is a switch over here on the side. I didn't want the switches to be down here or anywhere like how a lot of people have them. Just because I wanted to be the only one that could accidentally hit these. Just because sometimes things fly around when you're off-roading. I didn't want my lockers to be engaged going like 60 down the highway. So definitely a clean spot to mount your switches is a must-have if you're going to go off-roading a lot or if you have a lot of auxiliary setups like winches, um, in my case lockers, lights, light bars, all that kind of stuff. Definitely a good switch setup. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment down below what interior mods you guys recommend to new Jeep owners. That way, anybody watching this video can check out any Jeep mods that you really like. Let me know if I missed anything on the list. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. The next video is going to be on the Grand Cherokee. Um, I've been welding up the truss on it, just taking my time with that because I'm not the best welder yet. Um, kind of just learning on the front axle, figuring everything out as we go. So the next video will be on the Grand Cherokee as long as everything goes as planned. So I'll see you guys in the next video.